This video is sponsored by Avail. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully, you are okay. You join me sat in my car in the yard at quarter past five in the morning. Got me Ivy's. Let's go. We've um, got a day today of being basically the yard bitch. <laughs> but that's good. It means it's easy work today. Easy work. Right, so let me start by saying that there will be dash cam footage in this video. I'm just using my phone to start with because I need to show you some stuff. Also going to put my ears on. And then we can start walking to the truck. Now, yesterday I loaded my trailer for Monday and I loaded also trailer 002 for Monday, which is Melissa's trailer. Melissa is currently in Guildford with another trailer, which is loaded for a delivery today, which I'm going to make. I need to go meet her. I need to, I need to bobtail, which basically means go with just my truck to Guildford, pick up that trailer, take that trailer to Evesham. Then I need to get that trailer loaded for Monday for someone. Then I need to come back to the yard. Then I need to pick up another trailer and go get that loaded for Monday for someone else as well. That's what the plan is today. Melissa, once I pick up the trailer from Melissa, Melissa's gonna be then bobtailing to the range and do so for the range. Obviously I can't do that, so, cause I'm banned. <laughs> Naughty. So um, that's the plan for today, but we need to go and uh, get our truck shot. I need some ad blue on my truck as well. Now, admittedly, I have started slightly later than I planned. I wanted to be there in Guildford for seven. I'm probably not gonna make it until at least half past seven. So we're a little bit late, half an hour late. And that's because one of the main roads, or the main road to get to work from my house was shut. <laughs> so uh, we had to find an, an alternative. That's what we needed to do. Right, there she is. I'm just gonna do some daily checks, make sure everything's all okay. We are hitched up to this trailer already. Well, I say hitched up, we're not actually hitched up. Um, it's all undone, ready to go. I'm gonna get my torch out and then you can see a bit better. And then we can do some daily checks as well. Right, so obviously the engine is on, I'm warming it up, I've got the torch on. We are low on ad blue. We carry cartons with us, plus we can stop up to the yard anyway. But I don't have an awful lot to do today, so I know that is gonna be enough. So we're just gonna pop it up as part of our daily check. Right, that's got some avenue in now. Lovely. Right, now we've got avenue in that. We, uh, well, we know we've got enough now for the rest of the day, so that's good. Put it back in my cupboard. Oh, nice. Right, so we're still doing a check, making sure everything's all okay. Everything's looking good so far. So, just to confirm, my trailer is loaded for Monday. Today is Friday, by the way, I should say. My trailer loaded for Monday. I also got that trailer there on the left loaded for Monday as well, yesterday. My job today is to go and get a trailer off of Melissa, make that delivery to Evesham because it's already loaded. Then I've got to go to Tetbury, get that trailer loaded for Monday, which is a curtain slider. Then I need to come back to the yard, collect this trailer right next to me, this flatbed, and get this trailer loaded at the sawmill. Now, I spotted this yesterday, and I spotted it again now. There's a bit of rubbish on the bed. So that is going to have to be swept before I take it anywhere. In fact, I'm gonna take, take this off now at least, but the trailer itself looks like it needs to be swept. Yeah, it does. So uh, luckily we do carry brushes. Uh, this trailer's brushes here. I don't know if you can see that. So there's brushes on the trailer. I'll give that a quick sweep. And, uh, well, not now, but later. And then we can crack on later on today. So that's, that's the plan for today. So let's get going. Like I said, she's parked up in Guildford. I think it's a good two hours away. And uh, she can start at seven o'clock. But I don't think I'm gonna get there until about half past seven. So sorry, Melissa. <laughs> um, I'll be there as soon as I can. Next time you see me, 
Uh, there will be dash cam footage and we'll be a little bit closer to, to Melissa in Guildford. So I will see you in a little while. See you in a bit. Right, you join me in Guildford. We've, we've made a good time actually. We've only been driving for an hour and 35 minutes and we are only a couple of miles away now. We're just sat in a bit of traffic. And um, yeah, we, well, like I said, we're a couple of miles away, so we're just around the corner from where we need to be. I've spoken to Melissa. We've got a plan in place. Apparently, it's quite busy around there. Um, lots of cars have parked around her. <laughs> so she does, oh no, road closed. That's fine. So she doesn't want to just unhitch and go. Because if she does, she's worried that um, a car will then park in front of the trailer and I won't be able to hitch back up to it, which is probably true. Um, but there's also no space for me either. Uh, the cars have parked right behind her and right in front of the truck as well. There's only just enough room for her to get out. So what we're going to be doing is this. I'm going to be approaching head on, nose to nose. I'm going to grab paperwork off her out the driver's side window. And then I'm going to go past her, spin round and come back. And as I'm coming back, she's going to go and then I'm going to reverse under the trailer. It's going to be uh, a, rever a rehearsed trailer swap <laughs> so to speak but she's going to be cracking on solo i've got no trailer on right now i've been driving driving solo to get here and then um we crack on to evesham i thought it was going to travis perkins i don't think it is it's going to county build supplies in evesham um so slightly different company but it's h and h block so shouldn't take too long to tip i don't think and yeah we'll go from there we do need to get fuel um so we'll probably stop at fleet services on the way back top it with some fuel but uh, we worry about that in a bit also i've got to double check the trailer height because i just went under a 4.5 meter bridge so i do need to make sure the trailer is not above 4.5 i don't think it is but i do need to check just in case you should check anyway regardless um what lane do we want to be in here i don't want to be in the far right side lane because they all stay straight out straight on but then these two lanes here look lanes one and two are left and I want to go straight on that's weird weird layout um, so yeah hopefully we can uh, do this as quickly as possible without interfering with other road users we'll have to stop under the window grab the paperwork say bye to her go up the road a little bit there's a roundabout spin round and then uh, Hitch up to the trailer. Okay, half a mile away. We want to turn right here at these traffic lights. I do apologize, do apologize cars. It might be a bit tight to get past me. No, you're good. Green light. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I think, Melissa, you may have parked on a main road. Yeah, there's lots of cars. I do see her up ahead. Um, yeah, it looks like she's parked in one of these bays, look, and it's completely filled up with cars. The one that she's in. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to put some beakers on so she can see me. Get the paperwork ready. <laughs> she got her beacons on now. No one behind me. I was going to put hazards on. There's no one behind me, so there's no one in front either. It's all good. Oh, it's a bit tight though, yeah? Thank you very much. Who's the better blonde? No one. <laughs> <laughs> That's in a bit. <laughs> Who's the better blonde? <laughs> anyway, there, there's a car parked right there. Let's spin round. There she goes, she's heading off.
Is she waiting or is she going? I don't actually know. Right, suspension down because this is a loaded trailer. It's a little bit snug. Because the car in front of us doesn't make it very easy. But we'll get it. We will get it. Hopefully we got it. But at a slight angle. Nice! Straight in. Tug test. We're not coming off, so that's good. Gave it a tug, <laughs> we didn't come off. Right, I'm now gonna hitch this trailer up, so I'll see you outside. Okay, here she is. Got to do a couple of buckles up, because these are undone at some point, obviously. We're just gonna walk around the trailer, make sure everything's all okay. Here's the cars parked right behind the look. Put our plate on. Lovely. Always check inside. I don't think she would be carrying any immigrants, but uh, <laughs> best to check. Strapped up as well. Lovely jubbly. Ah! Curtains, buckles on this side because there were some loose. I got some more to do the other side, but there's some traffic. So I was just waiting for it to die down before I actually crack on and do that. But I'm going to do that now. And then I'm going to jump in the truck and speak to her in the truck. Right, so we've got paperwork. Yeah, I don't know. And uh, yeah, we're going to County Building, County building Supplies. WR11 4RA. Better turn down the radio before I get copyright strike. <laughs> So what we're doing now is just going to plan a route, make sure we get there safely. I will need to stop, I think, on the way as well for a break because we've already done a bit of driving. WR11. Um, oh, I think someone, one of my colleagues went to this one the other day because I had a quick Google of it. I can't remember if they had to reverse in off the road or not. I'll have to double check with them. Or did they drive in? It might be a reverse in off the road. Jobby, <laughs> not sure. Um, morning. Morning. Not wrestling, but only because is it worth? It? Are you are you going shortly? Or? Yeah, it will be, mate. Yeah, about f five minutes less than I should be gone. Bit, All right, mate. It's only because the council give us tickets, so we'll. Oh, do they? Get in here, oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll be gone in less less than five, mate. Sorry, mate. Less than five, I'll be gone. Smash it, thank you. Cheers, mate. I'm actually just trying to find, at the moment, um, what service station I'm going to. Because the quickest way is to go up the A40, but I need fuel. So I think I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to head to Reading Services and go up, um, well, go that way basically. It's going to take longer to get there, but hey ho, whatever. Uh, I saw that bloke come out just now, and um, I did wonder whether he was going to say something. And he did. Lovely. We're out of here. We are out of here. Make sure everything's off. It's all gravy, baby. Trailer height is 4.2 metres as well, so that bridge I was talking about earlier, we don't need to worry about that because that's 4.5, we're 4.2, so we've got plenty of, of clearance on that. And we're all good. It's uh, a good three hour drive to where we need to be. We're already on two hours. Um, so yeah, we do need to stop for a break. We do need to stop for a break. And we also need to stop for fuel as well. So by the time we do that and get fuel, we're gonna be very close to 12 o'clock. Yeah. What? 
What's, what started off looking like an easy day is going to be, well, it's going to be an easy day regardless, but it's whether I get time to do the second trailer and get it loaded, whether they stay on late, because I can't see me getting there until four or five o'clock. We'll see what we can do, see if we can make up any time anywhere. Around the corner we go. Lovely jubbly, thank you very much. That's a learner lorry. All clear to the right. Gravy baby. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on. Like I said, it's got a long drive to do now. Uh, I'll figure out exactly where what route we're taking. I'm not entirely sure what route we're taking yet. All I know is I need to get to Reading Services on the M4. That's my aim. And then I'm going to figure out a route from there. I could go M4 and then M5 up, or I could go uh, past the yard, A419, A417, or I could go A420 to Oxford and up that way. There's loads of different ways to go. So I'm going to concentrate on getting fuel first, maybe a brake while I'm there, and then we will see what route we're going to take. So yeah, I will see you in a bit. Right, we've just been to put 395 litres in. Let's go pay for it. We are at Reading Services. Oh look, all the fuel pumps are closed. Let's go pay for the fuel and then we can crack on. I've looked, I think the way I'm gonna go is back to Swindon and then uh, down Birdlip and then up that way. I think that's the way I'm going to go. Right, so we're back in the truck now. We're gonna crack on to where we need to go. We're still two hours away. Uh, but we are on three hours driving, so we can only go an hour and a half, which means unfortunately we've got to stop for a break on the way, but that is the case. Nothing I can do about that. So I'm gonna go, and I will see you when we stop for a break. See you in a bit. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Trucker's Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Right, um, I've just about finished my break. Two more minutes and then we'll be off and uh, then we're gonna crack on. We stayed here for our break. Once that's done, we'll, uh, we'll crack on, carry on to Eastern. So next time you see me, I will be approaching the delivery site. See you in a bit. Right, you join me uh, a mile and a half away from where we need to be. Oh my God, it has dragged. <laughs> I was hoping to be here like, well, this morning to begin with. It's, um, well, it's, gone lunchtime now it's absolutely bloody dragged uh we were on over four hours driving by the time we got back to siren sister um so we had to stop for a 45 minute break there which is where you last saw me and then from there like wow i've been driving for an hour and 15 minutes and we're just around the corner now so it's taken a long time total driving for today um well we're at currently five hours five hours and 15 minutes so it's a lot of driving. We've got to go to Tetbury yet. I don't know how long it's going to take to get to Tetbury from here. Probably at least an hour. So we're looking at six and a half at Tetbury. And then maybe seven and a bit by the time we get back to the yard to drop this trade off. And then we've got to do more. But I don't actually know if we're going to have time. Like, the day's just... I don't know why. Just the day's just flying past. I keep, keep getting stuck in traffic. That was a nice house. And then, what with requiring a 45 minute break by law, and also needing to stop for fuel as well, which took more than 15 minutes, so that was an hour out of the day straight away, just doing those two things. So, um, yeah, day is flying past. I mean, the main thing is now, I shouldn't need a break for the rest of the day, because I should have enough time to get back to Tetbury, then back to the yard, and then do another load if I can still, but it's just a question as to whether or not I can do that second collection or will they go home? I don't know. I also keep yawning, which is uh, not good. I need to get out of the cab and do something. I don't know, like undo curtains and unstrap my load. 
Also, because I've got H&H blocks on, I know they're going to make a mess. So the load will require being brushed once it's all off. So we will do that. I'm just wondering if I've actually been to this store or not. I don't think I have. I'm going to take a right down here. Oh, it looks a bit narrow. You've now blocked a yellow hatch marking, which is very clever, isn't it? I'm blocking this lane, admittedly, but there's nothing I can do there. I'm just waiting for this light to turn green for me. Green lights. These trees are a bit trimming needed. <laughs> Trim the trees. I'm not 100% sure this is the best way into this place. A lot of parked vehicles on the left and vehicles on the right. Can we get past everyone without taking any wing mirrors off? Let's hope we don't. They're very close to that car there. Lovely. Yeah, I'm not, not entirely sure this is the best way in, but never mind. This is the way we've come. This is the way we'll deal with it. We're well and truly on the other side of the road, but never mind. They're all, uh, all letting me through, which is good. I phoned up and I said, I'm about an hour away. Do I need to drive in or reverse it? And they said, well, you can turn down here. So I take that as uh, I'll drive on in then. Because I was thinking if I uh, needed to reverse off of this road or not. But it's looking like that is not the case. Side indicating right, clear left, clear right, clear left, clear right. Just making sure there's no one overtaking me or undertaking. And we go down this road that says dead end. I don't think I've been here. No turning for HGVs. I mean, he literally told me there's room to turn, so. Oh, are we turning in here? We might be in there, I don't know. This is the thing, I don't know where we need to go. It might be a tip on the road jobby, I don't know. Oh, I think we turn in there, reverse back there. I think. People can see me. Is anyone coming over? I don't think so. Right, I think we've got to go and speak to someone and uh, go from there. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we are now unstripping. What we've done is we've moved over to the other side of the road and pulled forward. And that is where we're going to be to take all these straps off. Okay, and now I'm the other side of the curtain. Um, I have not undone the curtain completely because there's no need to. I just need to be able to get in and, uh, well, do these straps up. They've offloaded me from the other side. Although, this looks fine from where I am now, but if you're someone walking past me from the other way... Let us see, look a little strange. Right, so this is the last strap now to do up. And then, because they're going to offload me completely from one side, I can close this curtain back up this side now. And then, um, well, they concentrate on emptying it from the other side, basically. Okay, so, uh, yeah, they've offloaded me. I'm just sat down on the other side. <laughs> just sat on here. Um, annoyingly, there's no brush in this trailer. I thought there was, which is fine. There will most likely be a brush um, on site. I'll ask them to borrow it in a second. If there isn't a brush, then there'll be one where I'm going later and I can sweep out there if need be, but it's always better to sweep out the place you're delivering to. So um, yeah, let me show you inside the trailer because this door's still open. That's uh, how much they're taking off so far. Got some more to go. <laughs> He said there'd be one in the warehouse. Maybe there's a bigger one. Ah, a little bit bigger. A little bit, not much bigger. Anyway, let's 
go start sweeping the back. He just said he's going to bring a skip over for me as well, so we can put it in the skip. I don't know whose bed this is, but uh, it could have done with a sweat before this, really. Right, so as you can see, we're on the bed, giving it a good old sweep. We've got a few more left to come off, and then we're good. There, I got most of it off. Little bits like that ain't gonna matter too much. So it's all the big, chunky bits, really, that's gonna rip the bags, because there's bags that we're gonna be putting on next. Right, we are unloaded. I presume we are going back to, well, I say back to, we've not been there. I'm, I'm assuming we're still going to Tetbury. I will, I'm just gonna turn around, send a message and confirm. Um, actually, I'll probably call him and confirm. I do also have a car. So we've got, a, we've got no one watching us. We've got to drive down here, reverse back out across the road, which is okay. Um, more than capable of doing it by myself. We will just go out slowly though, just in case uh, anyone pops behind us. Hazards are on, beacons are on. We're all good. I think I've gone for the wrong one, but never mind. We can get out still. I think he said go straight back. I've sort of gone 90 degree <laughs> turn, but we've got more than enough room to get out, look, so that's fine. And then I'm just gonna pop here. Get comfortable. I just wanted to spin around before um, any other customers come into the yard. Now we can get comfortable. Put into the sat nav where we're going and uh, confirm. Actually, I'm just gonna head there. He said he hasn't said otherwise, so. If it's otherwise, then he should really say, shouldn't he? Yeah. Cool, half past two. Here's my ETA. By the time I get back to the yard, we are talking like half past four, quarter five. And that's, uh, well, <laughs> we're not going to have an awful lot of time to go get a second trailer loaded, so I think it might only be the one trailer we actually do get loaded. But um, obviously I won't know for sure until, until later when that is confirmed. I am going to trust my sat nav because I come from the left and now it's taking me to the right, so I'm going to trust it. How wrong can it be? Go, go, go! We're off. We're empty and we're off. Road liable to substance. Substance? I think that's what it said. Right, anyway, I'm going to crack on. I'll see you when we get a little bit closer to Tetbury. See you in a bit. Right, situation report. We are now in Tetbury and we are getting loaded with bulk bags onto the trailer. The weather's turned. It's, uh, I don't know if you can hear it. It's thundering. It's literally thundering and lightning. Um, <laughs> my windscreen wiper fell off on the way here. I've had to duct tape it back on. I'll show you in a sec. I had to pull in and sort that out. Um, but yeah, luckily it's not actually raining too hard at the moment. It was hammering it down on the way, so I am expecting it to get worse momentarily. We've only got 40 bags to go on, so once they, they're only doing one side at the moment. So once they've done that side, this side here, there, I can start throwing some straps over and uh, securing it once they start putting some on the other side as well. At the moment, it's just nothing I can do until they've done one side, just putting ratchet straps down. But we're here. 
Um, the time is getting on. It's like nearly quarter to three, maybe gone quarter to three now actually. So by the time I get back to the yard, I think it's going to be nearly four o'clock. Uh, I don't know if I'm getting another trailer loaded. I might be, I might be dropping off, I might be loading, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see what time I get back to the yard with this and drop this trailer off and then we're going from there. So it's literally going to be a case of, I won't know until I get there. Happy days. Right, that's it. So all strapped up, curtains closed, and uh, now we can get in the truck. I'm not too wet, as you can see, a little bit, but not massively. It did rain a little bit, but it didn't really hammer it down. I think, I think I turned up just after it hammered down. It was hammering it down on the way, so all things considered, not too bad. Right, switch to GoPro. Yeah, so... Situation report. We're loaded and we're going to head back to the yard. We've got to go get... No, we don't have to get paperwork. We've already got it. It's in the back of the trailer. I'm not the one delivering it, so... Um, there's no point keeping it in the truck. So this thing here um, is a forklift thing. Tells basically forklift drivers when they're too close to me. It also tells me that uh, I'm too close to them. And, uh, oh God, what have we done? <laughs> oh dear. It should just be a case of just lifting it up, but uh, obviously not. It's caught itself. <laughs> Let's put that back. So yeah, I just gotta hand this in and then we can go, is what I was trying to say. So be right back. Covers off, shoes are off. Let's go. Sorry, that's beeping because the door wasn't fully shut. <sighs> Trying to get that done as quickly as possible so we can get back to the yard as quickly as possible. We're looking at getting back about 20 past four, I think. Maybe later. See what traffic's like on the way. And then I don't know whether we're getting loaded with the flatbed or not. Because uh, it is looking like we won't get there until nearly five o'clock. I think they go home at four, but I'm not I'm not 100% sure on that. It might mean that we've got to go drop the trailer off. They load it on the weekend, maybe. That's happened in the past. So I don't know. No idea. All I know is that I've been running around in the rain, getting soaking wet. And... Uh, now I want to cool down a bit. There goes my glasses nearly. This bit of road can be horrible because it's shared access road with um, like horses. So sometimes you get horses come down here and it's uh, a pain because you've got to, obviously, rightfully so, slow down, turn your engine off and stop. But even then, sometimes the horses can be quite skittish. You see there's horse muck in the road look, so. Years. Got to be careful of the horses. Oh, clear, my dear. Let's go. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. So I'm going to crack on, get to the yard, and then uh, I'll probably see you in the yard when I figure out what I'm doing. Hopefully I don't forget to end the video again in the yard. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'll see you when we get there. See you in a bit. Right, you join me later. Um, I forgot to show you the wiper, and I? There's me uh, <laughs> duct tape I had to use. Um, the sun is out, which is nice. I don't know whether anyone's here. We're at the sawmill. We had to pick up the other trailer, and... Um, Oh yeah, we're at the sawmill now, but we're not actually loading it, we're just dropping the trailer off and then running back. They're going to load it on the weekend, which I did think was a uh, possibility. We're going to put the trailer there. So, just need to unhitch it and then uh, I'll be back in a sec. Right, so, trailer is dropped, but almost legs down. 
filled it out so the weight on the neck is going to break it down a little bit. Timbers underneath. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. So we're going to crack on back to the yard now. And uh, we've got lots of paperwork to do when we get back. Because I've not done any for the week. <laughs> so I'll see you when we get there. See you in a bit. Right, if I, right, if I appear hot and sweaty, it's because I am. I've just, uh, we're in the yard. Um, probably, uh, we washed the truck, we're ready to go. But I need to do my paperwork, uh, download my tacker card, uh, do an end of day check, to make sure everything's all okay with the vehicle, wheel nuts are done, up tight and everything like that. Download my tacker card, already said, download the taco head. Just got a lot of stuff to do, paperwork, so that's what I'm gonna crack on with now. Also give the inside a bit of a spruce clean. And um, what time is it? Uh, I don't know what time it is. It's gone six, it's like half six, I think, nearly. No, it's 12 past six. Um, so we're probably gonna be here for at least another half an hour, at least. And then we'll crack on uh, back home for the weekend. So let's do some paperwork. Right, so paperwork is done. Uh, we washed it. We are sort of semi under the trailer, not fully. Just grab a bag and then uh, we'll be off. Right, grab my stuff. Ugh. Right, I hit myself in the head. Oh, that's not done up right. Let's do that before stuff comes out. And then we want to grab this. It's my laundry box, laundry bag rather, not box. And then uh, we can lock up and we'll be good for the weekend. All windows are done up. I left the window open the other day and got pulled off. Windows are done up, the sunroof is done. All good, all gravy baby. So. That is going to be the end of today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, do leave a comment down in the comment section down below. Um, yeah, been a good uh, been a good day. Going to get the trailer first thing this morning from Guildford and uh, delivering it in Evesham. And then the it's been an easy day. I thought I'd have more time to do more things, but uh, hasn't been the case. But hey ho, what can you do? Anyway, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.